Welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. I'm your host, Time Pants, and today we're going to be just uh, benching our abomination here for a bit. His stress levels are pretty high, and to make matters considerably worse, he also is suffering from a probably the most horrible disease that I have seen thus far. Instead, we're going to be running with a high-level party here. I think no better place than... Yeah, let's say let's say the ruins on account of us taking Lucy along. I think this is going to be a pretty fun party to watch. Now let's just quickly see here who are we going to or I'm sorry, which are we going to take? 90% of rooms, 100% of room battles. Let's do room battles. I yeah, again I I think these two more than probably more than any other yeah, those those two, the scouting 90% of room, or yeah, visiting 90% of rooms, and um, and like fighting 100% of room battles, more or less interchangeable. Like those are not terribly exciting or varied um, in terms of in terms of the quests in this game. It's a little bit disappointing, I guess. But that said. I'm, I'm glad that for this particular mission, we do have something a little bit more basic, since this is kind of a trial run of a group of characters. I don't tend to use that often. I, I mean, it has been a long, long time since I've used the Grave Robber. I do think her stock has fallen considerably since the, um, yeah, since a few of the changes, particularly to running in total darkness. I mean, her crit score is pretty good but I wouldn't I wouldn't really say wouldn't really say great now here we can opt to do poison darts instead of instead of what instead of thrown dagger hmm let's see how thrown dagger does for us if it yeah if it doesn't end up paying that great a dividends a then we always have the game. option of switching so here's the plan for this particular party and here's what I think is so brilliant about it so instead of what we usually bring which is either a sun ring or a moon ring we're bringing the quick draw charm I want Pippin to go first he is going to use point blank shot hopefully getting a kill after that our grave robber is going to use shadow fade and she's going to jump back putting our uh, yeah putting our highwayman back in the point position after that our uh, yes our uh, crusader is going to leap forward with his holy lance that's going to put our grave robber back here in position three just in time for her to spring back to the front with lunge that's how it's supposed to work we'll see how it actually does but I like it, right? It's it's novel. I think it's an interesting interaction of all of their movement abilities. And I think this is just about perfect. All right, so we're not going to enjoy that much scouting, but let's try Unshakable Leader. I think this is something that we have definitely, uh, yeah, we've definitely got some use for here. And let's see, I think you. Because, yeah, stress has been, I mean, since, since the patch, stress has definitely been a sore spot for us. It's it's something that we're going to need to find new ways to adapt to because I mean one of the things that we have been relying on pretty heavily up until this point has been moon items and sun items. They're great but in this brave new world hmm, in this brave new world here we do have that is unfortunate. In this... Oh my goodness. In this brave new world, we face uh, post... Uh, post inhuman uh, bondage. Well, stress is now a very real consideration. It's something that we... This, this sucks. It's something that we absolutely have to consider, and I think we have to start finding new novel ways to deal with it. Our, yeah, thus far, our primary way of dealing with, with stress has just been, well, you know, just win. Just kill the enemy. Just fight them and hit them a whole lot. Get some crits and you'll be fine. Well, 
that, yeah, that, thus far, that hasn't been a terribly reliable strategy for us. It seems like crits are a little bit harder to come by these days. Why does this keep happening? I got four heals of one health in a row, and this, this really sucks. I got four heals of one in a row in our last, um, in our last run, and good grief. Okay, I've... I have found a weakness in this party. Yeah, I've, I got four heals of one in a row in our last run, and that same terrible luck seems to be persisting. That said, we actually didn't get hurt that badly in terms of our stress, and I do give a lot of that credit for that to this unshakable leader, since, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's, yeah, minus 20 stress... I think that's going to go a long way. Hopefully, this is not so bad. I mean, it's not great, but yeah, hopefully we can get a kill here one way or another. What do you think? Grave Shot Blast? Not as much damage as I might have liked, but yeah, we definitely have an option here to uh, to try and uh, to try and get things uh, yeah get things working here. This, yeah, this stun and this kill early on, definitely clutch. And a big heal there is going to go a long way to, to getting us back fighting fit. Hopefully we don't kill this, yeah, hopefully we don't end this encounter too quickly. That was perfect. Because I feel like this could be an opportunity for us to get, yeah, to get some health back, to get some, perhaps get some other forms of, uh, of recovery here. But, I mean, time will tell. This is... Obviously... Yeah. This is obviously a very positional dependent party. And right now, I mean... This, yeah, this is not... Not the, uh... Not the best arrangement for us. We actually have not gotten to fight really optimally. Since we got into the dungeon, we've gotten surprised every single time. And that is a definite consequence of us choosing not to prioritize our Highwayman's uh, plus scouting chance skill. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of tra tracking shot for duelist advances instead, just to try and give us a little bit more ability, a little bit more control over our position relative to the rest of the party. The Highwayman probably doesn't suffer from it nearly as much, but not being able to... Yeah, not being able to point blank shot or just getting our grave robber into position for a stun, if necessary, could certainly uh, go a long way towards uh, yeah towards a a successful run here in the future. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I think that was perfect. Well, actually, our our crit has been doing pretty well for us thus far. Actually, like I said, that was something I was a bit concerned about. Like, I, I honestly thought that was going to be kind of a sore spot for us. Just with, yeah, kind of the, the fact that we haven't really emphasized it as, as a party here. Our, yeah, our, our darkness parties have not been nearly as successful in... Yeah, in recent recent episodes, just because of how Red Hook has very clearly tweaked things with an eye on trying to make darkness parties have considerably considerably more more danger. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's that's so unfortunate. Not as unfortunate as this, but very very unfortunate. Huh. Okay, this is good, but we really need a Grape Shot Blast, like, right now-ish. Alright, starting to get worried. It's not really funny anymore. Uh, yeah, this... This party is not, <laughs> not functioning perhaps as optimally as I may have liked. Ooh, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm starting to get an idea here. I'm starting to get an idea here, hold on. All right, is there any way that we can adjust this party to march a little bit more 
a little bit more efficiently. That was clutch. Is my is my party order messed up? Like am I am I missing something here that that I could be doing instead that might give this party a, a little bit more of an edge? Success so clearly. Hmm. Okay. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, so how about this? Point blank shot. Lunge? No. Hmm. Like I I do I do like this. I mean I do like this. I think this is good. I think this has potential. I'm just what am I missing here? What am I missing? Is there is there a better, more optimal way to arrange this party? I mean, it really all depends on who goes first. Unfortunately, these two have very similar speed. Okay, hold on. I think I got it. So, you're going to take the moon cloak off. You're going to switch that. And now you're going to do this. Alright, this is going to slow you down a little bit. So, he'll get to go first with his point blank shot. And so, then she will be able to move him back into the front row. Okay. Let's see if this works. And and then Lucy has a speed of 5. So that should be more or less our now this should be more or less how we want things to go, right? 1 and then 2 and then 3, right? And then she'll be back in position for a lunge on round 2 if everything goes according to plan. If everything goes according to plan. But, yeah, unfortunately, this plan hinges greatly on not being surprised <laughs> like that. Um, fortunately, this shouldn't be that devastating. I mean, this particular encounter should be fairly trivial. How do we want to do this? Is there a better way? One, two... No, there's not. I was thinking maybe if, yeah, if we were here, I think it would have been better to do shadow fade. So if there were an encounter in in here, then we could at least carry that buff in with us. But since yeah, since we're we're far enough away, I think it was just worth taking the swing and not allowing that skeleton to potentially get a chance to to get involved in the fight. I mean, he can't do a lot of damage, but on the off chance that he does land a, a lucky crit, we certainly wouldn't want it to be on Lucy, who very easily might have gone over the brink. And, I mean, this, yeah, this particular run is not going badly yet, but it's precarious. We don't have a lot of stress relief short of getting those uh, getting those crits and thus far we've been lucky Holy Lance actually does have a pretty high crit chance and it's something that I sort of ignored or I wouldn't say ignored something I overlooked ignored sounds like I'm kinda doing it deliberately definitely not something that I overlooked but yeah, Holy Lance does have good a good crit chance we might be able to generate some stress relief off of that so yeah, I guess we do have a couple of factors working here in our favor but we are also now suddenly suddenly needing to at the very least keep an eye on our can I just please please get like one like one encounter that that actually goes my way can I please have that like please I don't feel like I'm asking too much here I just... There we go. Well... What happens? Crap. Alright, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. Oh my god. How? Why? Okay, um... At this point, I think, yeah, we, we try and get the kill. This is so terrible. How does this happen? A just... 
Really? I'm amazed. How? How could something just break that badly for us? Good. And they really, I think they really did tweak the enemy AI so they have a better idea of where exactly they should target for maximum impact. Because it really does seem lately like our very damaged or our mo most damaged character seems to get seems to, to to get the brunt of of the assault a lot of the time. And. Yeah, it seems like our most stressed out character always seems to... I should have done lunge for the better crit chance. Yeah, it, it does seem like our most stressed out characters tend to get targeted. Now, that may be... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna ditch the torch. And I'm going to ditch herbs. Anti-venom. Maybe that's confirmation bias. Maybe I am analyzing things wrong. I mean, maybe the like people are getting people are getting um, stressed out. Like it seems like they're targeting one particular row, um, not because they're going after a particular. Uh, maybe not because they're going after one particular character but because they just tend to focus on that row with their stressing attacks. And so as a result, they just get more... They just eat more stress and are more likely to get stressed out. I mean... Am, am I... Am I... Am I explaining things clearly? Like... So, for instance, he's been in rank... Or, sorry, she's been in rank 3 this entire time, right? So, because she's been in rank 3, maybe that's just where enemies with stressing attacks tend to focus their attacks, like rank 3 or rank 4. I hate you. And so, because she's in rank 3, or has been spending a lot of time in rank 3, that's just the reason that she is, is getting hit with, uh, with a, bunch of, a bunch of stress. It's not that they're targeting her specifically because the enemies are so smart, they're targeting her specifically because they're so dumb. The Maybe. Beast. Uh, that's the that's purely the speculation on my part, but I think it would this go... Promises success. I think it would go a long way to account for at least some of the apparent bad luck that we've been having. That said, this has been a tremendously lucrative run so far. We don't need to go this way, and I don't want to risk uh, another encounter. The more random encounters now that we expose ourselves to, the greater chance there is that we're going to get hit by a Shambler. And, I mean, we're not in terrible shape to find a sh fight a Shambler. I wouldn't say we're in terrible shape at all uh, to fight a Shambler. But, those particular encounters definitely have a high occurrence of us getting uh, yeah of us getting hit by hmm I think we actually do this those do have a, a high occurrence of us getting hit by something like um, I, I don't know just for example that uh, undulating what is it undulating something or other uh, obdurus I think it's the uh, I can't even remember. Anyway, uh, the one that, that does like 20, 25 stress to your whole party, that combined with a, a selfish party member who's going to be doing barks that cost the, the party like like four or five uh, stress, you know, on average a turn. I just say maybe every other turn he's going to be spitting one of those out. It's something that we need to definitely account for because we, yeah, we don't want, yeah, we, we don't want him to to be stressing the party out and and assist with a stress spiral. On top of the fact that now we also see that um, we now we now also see that a selfish party member might act outside of our control. That definitely has the ability to backfire, especially against an enemy that we really need to be able to to call
call our targets because yeah those those little minions that it summons one of those buffs is bad but i mean two of them hitting just back to back is potentially yeah is potentially catastrophic because they might get so strong that we're yeah no longer able to to damage them and yeah all the while they are yeah they're they're rapidly gaining uh damage of their own so yeah it's it's definitely something that we want to avoid if at all possible we we really want to be able to focus a target down and that's that is definitely not on the docket if we have a character who is like doing aoe um what like aoe attacks against a double white enemy for example that would be it'd be terrible it'd be really really bad that's also an example of something that would be terrible and or really really bad yeah definitely definitely oh my god all right so this this might be a great opportunity for us to witness the changes that were made to the death store mechanic yep all right this this is treacherous here we have to we have to tread very lightly here and i actually considered maybe just using shadow fade to up her uh her dodge and that that might still prove to have been the better call but um i, I mean i guess we'll we'll see at least we'll try and get her out of harm's way here there we go great see hey that actually made me look pretty smart, right? Did kind of a bodyguard thing there. Just get down! Pretty awesome. I'm pretty proud of that. Foolish and powers. now, Brought yikes, now where do we sacrifice? Here? Drop the bandages? Sure. Yeah, I feel good about that. We... We done good. Look at that. That is easily our most lucrative run that we've we've done in quite some time now conversely uh our our stress is is obviously completely unacceptable we really need to oof i don't think it went that badly okay uh obviously we need to take these guys to decompress but yeah we are going to be returning to yeah, we're going to be returning to our old friends here in the veteran level missions. If we play our cards right, I think Donger can be Donger can be out of just giggled like a like a little middle schooler. Donger can be out of the veteran levels here in two missions. So, yeah, we'll definitely do what we can to make that happen. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.